My name is William Scarf. I'm head of the Department of Diagnosis and Oral Health, University of Louisville School of Dentistry. I'm also the head of the Imaging Sciences Department. I think radiography has been at the forefront of the fourth industrial revolution because it's been pervasive over many of the disciplines and is now uh, being fused with other imaging modalities such as optical scans of teeth and also the face. Radiography is a very visual media and if you can demonstrate certain features to patients, certainly treatment acceptance goes up. I think that's where software can help not only the dentist but the patient appreciate exactly what's going to be done for them by the uh, treating dentist. When we're looking at incidentals in imaging, particularly panoramic and uh, more recently cone beam CT imaging, you have to have a, an important understanding of what anatomy is to be able to understand what features are there where anatomy is not present and then there are incidental findings. Most common of which are calcifications within certain areas or anomalies of anatomy. An example of that would be a periodontist who is placing implants near the maxillary sinus. The anatomy of the maxillary sinus is extremely variable and uh, on comb beam CT, it's important to understand what that is and how it can be imaged. Uh, as regards to panoramic radiography, we'll give a systematic approach that can be used every time on every panoramic. There are six particular regions of both the maxilla and the mandible where we're going to look at anatomy, anomaly, and relative pathologies that general dentists should be aware of. Voxel vision is a term that I incorporate into my lectures, which really means a three-dimensional approach to looking at any imaging, whether it be panoramic, but more importantly, cone beam CT imaging. It requires a systematic interpretation upon anatomic regions. Another definition of voxel vision is to incorporate a three-dimensional image of the skull and the teeth within it. That's good for looking at relationships between the, the top jaw and the bottom jaw and looking at the um, temporomandibular joints. But in some instances, it's not adequate enough to look at the articulation of the teeth. And one way to do this is to change a semi-transparent or transparent three-dimensional image into an actual virtual model where bones can be broken and moved, teeth can be removed or replaced. I think that that has advantages not only for the dentist or in fact the surgeon, but for the patient for the understanding of the procedure that's going to be performed on. So I think voxel vision is, is an exciting new era in visualization of, of three-dimensional data. Next year, when we're all together at the World Dental Congress, I'm most looking forward to interacting with people. We're all there for the benefit of patients and to move science forward. The Congress being held in Sydney is fantastic. Sydney is a beautiful city. Its weather is gorgeous at that time of year, and there are so many things to do. I do recommend fish and chips over at Manly as my own personal requirement, and also an evening ride on the Manly Ferry. There's nothing more relaxing in the world. Thank you.